Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So last week someone left a comment on one of my videos asking how I can be involved with or married to someone that doesn't believe in the same eating style as me and when we run into problems down the line when we're raising our daughter. And I thought this is a very fair comment and I really wanted to respond to it because I know on, on several videos I have mentioned my husband and that my husband has absolutely no interest in, in healthy food or, or what is healthy and why it's healthy or any of that. He just has absolutely no interest in that. And so I'm sure a lot of people wonder, well then why are you married to someone like that? And don't you run into problems when it comes down to food choices and, and, and of course, you know, with raising our daughter. And so I have to first say though that my husband has absolutely no interest in, <laughs> in healthy diets, but he actually eats very healthy, naturally. And it's, it's not something where he thinks about it or he plans it or he even wants to talk about it. The last thing he wants to talk about is whether something is healthy or not. But generally, majority of his food choices are, are exceptionally healthy. Um, he's probably one of the few people that I know that would choose fruit over a candy bar any day. And a lot of this has to actually do with his upbringing. My husband and I come from two different sides of the world. I, as most people know, I'm from Montreal, Canada and my husband is from Lombok, Indonesia. I'm from a city in North America and he's from the jungle of Southeast Asia, <laughs> literally. And so our backgrounds are so different, completely different. My, my husband, he grew up in the middle of the jungle and his family didn't have any money. They barely had a house. They didn't have electricity when he was growing up. They didn't have running water. They, they lived off of the earth pretty much. They grew their own food, they foraged for food, they hunted for food. My husband can recall many, many times going to school hungry. For him, being hungry is one of the worst experiences of his entire life. And it's something that, for him, he views food as a means of not being hungry. He views food as, as, as nourishment, but mainly to keep you from being hungry. So when he's picking and choosing his food, <laughs> all he's thinking about is, is it gonna fill me up? Because the last thing he wants to feel is hungry and it reminds him of childhood and all that. And so, his kind of view of food is, is very different than mine because I grew up in North America in a city and even though my parents were very strict about what we can eat and what we couldn't eat and we ate a very healthy diet, I was still surrounded by junk food and fast food and just a lot of processed food everywhere. And for me, that was something that I was always around. And later on when I left home, I ended up eating a lot of that kind of stuff and, and got sick. And found that the only way of reversing a lot of health conditions that, that I developed was through changing my diet and learning how to eat naturally and learning how to make better food choices and, and learning to actually enjoy natural, real food. And so for my husband, on the other end of things, was that he just grew up with natural food. He, they were growing it. He knows everything about plants. He knows how things grow and, and how things happen or made. <laughs> and for him, he was never around uh, stores or, or fast food restaurants or any of that. You know, it's like for him, like even having something sweet, that would come down to maybe finding a beehive like once or twice a year and finding some honey. But other than that, he wasn't, he didn't, there was no option of having junk food or fast food or sweets or any of that. And so it's very different what we both grew up around and how we eat today because of that. So I see with my husband is that he's eating the same diet he's ate his entire life. <laughs> he pretty much eats rice for, and vegetables for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's done this his entire life. And if possible or if, if available, he'll have meat or, or some fish or some eggs with his rice and vegetables. But the sort of the stable diet is rice and vegetables. And, uh, and, and eating fruit. So for him, that, that's what he's used to and that's what he does. He eats his traditional diet. And for myself, because I kind of grew up in, in the modern Western world of, of fast food and processed food and buying my food from a grocery store, I've had to learn how to get back to nature <laughs> and learn about like how, where does food come from and, and how is it made and how is it grown and, and all of that. And I find because our backgrounds are so different is that it's, it's a nice compliment. You know, I've learned so much from him because 
being from a city, I, I never knew these things. And whereas with him, if, if he's in his element, when we go back to Lombok to visit his family, like, you know, he loves to show me the different plants and how things are grown and, and how they forage and, and how they gather things and, and also introduce me to different foods that I've never tried before. So in many ways, that's a beautiful side of our relationship. And I have to say too, is that most people know I'm very passionate about natural health, right? And, and, and sometimes it can be a little bit extreme. And I, I know I can be a little bit extreme. And I know that I can be a little bit over, overly passionate about my, my food choices or why things are healthy or why we should eat them or get into that. And it's always been a very good balance for me to actually be in a relationship with someone that doesn't really want to talk about that stuff. <laughs> because it helps to bring me down a notch. It helps for me to find a little bit more balance in my life and to explore and do other things. You know, that my, my world is not only about food and natural health and what's healthy and what's not, but that my, my life is about other things as well and that I'm constantly learning new things and that I get a break from my mind and thinking about those things and, and learn about other things and do other things. So I've always found that to be a compliment. I know that for some people they do really well being in a relationship with someone that, that has the same passions as them and has the same outlook and has the same interests and eats the same way and all that and, and it helps them, it keeps them going and, and they do these things together and I think that's fabulous. But for me, it's always been that I've always kind of sought out a partner or friends to balance me out because I know I can be quite extreme. <laughs> and I need someone that, that is interested in doing the opposite things that I'm doing so that, that I can have a little bit more balance in my life. So that's how our dynamic and our relationship works. And as far as my daughter goes, um, our daughter together, um, Luna Ray is now seven months, and my husband is extremely supportive of giving her a healthy diet, you know, and, and he wants her to be healthy, strong, smart, and loved. And for both of us, that, that's the priority with raising her. And I have to say that he's been exceptionally proud that she's been exclusively breastfed up until six months. We've been, I was exclusively breastfeeding her, and I've continued breastfeeding her now as well, and will continue at least for a year or two. I'm following the guidelines of the World Health Organization, and, uh, but we do have added in some solid food. And he's exceptionally <laughs> proud of you know, exclusively breastfeeding because um, here in Asia, so, so sometimes it happens that people sort of go off track and get into the formula and all that. And, and he's always been bringing it up and mentioning that we've been doing this. And, and as far as feeding her, he's actually gone the extra mile of wanting to get organic foods for her and, and all of that and to, to find, find really good quality food for our daughter. So I have to say that he's completely backed me up with, with how I have always foreseen raising children. And together we've been really uh, enjoying this, this journey together as a family. So in all, I'm not, I'm not worried about what the food choice is for our daughter. You know, we do our best, right? So, so yeah, so that's my response to this comment. And I'm wishing you guys a super fabulous day. And I'll see you again soon.